Goodness. Alarms are so chaotic. seen so far is what I do every morning I wake up get in my word get some worship because it really just sets the tone and it helps me to be more present more grateful in my day I brush my teeth too I like to brush my teeth right after I get out of bed just out of respect for myself I guess so brush my teeth and then I do something with the dishes usually I put the dishes away but this morning I had to wash the dishes because I let them sit and since it is Friday, I took down all the appliances. I don't like having my countertops cluttered, so I just put like the air fry and everything under the cabinets. And at this point, I'm about to go on social media because I feel like I've been, you know, waiting long enough. This is one of the good days. And by good days, I mean like withholding from scrolling and not scrolling in the bed before I get up. I would say three out of seven days. I'm able to do this just get out of bed start my day without scrolling but for some reason I tend to start my tasks for the day in the bed sometimes so like after I'm done reading the word I'll like grab my laptop I'll get on actors access get on my emails and then do the scrolling but this is you know one of those three out of seven days and as you guys can tell I just woke up in a really good mood I went to sleep in a good mood and then I woke up in a good mood because I was like dancing around the house all last night and I'm glad that I'm still feeling the effects of it so yeah okay so I'm on my TikTok grind now and if you guys don't follow me you can follow me at shaina dot dot j shaina dot dot j and last night it's cracking me up because people love to talk about oh millennials suck at transitions millennials suck at this suck at that technically i'm gen z but the way that i edit and i try to do transitions it gives millennial well i think the new term for it is zillennial like i'm not too gen z but at the same time i was like not old enough to remember a lot of millennial moments um so yeah i'm still learning how to edit but um let's do some adulting things all right i decided to eat an apple before I leave. I eat it like my grandma, honestly. For OTD. 
real basic. How do you guys feel about the shadows? Y'all, I have a confession. I'm usually the person who has 30 alarms and everyone else wakes up to them before I do. And I'm really trying to outgrow that because I'm tired of being stressed out of my bed. Anyways, it's really important for me that I get out of the house and get some sunlight. Typically, I take me a little walk, but today I had somewhere to be and I would really encourage you guys to get out, touch some grass, and enjoy the sun. Alright guys, so I just got done with my last Pilates class. Well, my free trial ended today. So my last free Pilates class and it was fun. I don't know i was there with a more mature crowd and they were talking about like hallmark movies and stuff so i was just vibing but it was so challenging and you guys might be able to relate to this but whenever i don't work out my abs for like over a couple weeks i get like cramps when i do start so like today i was getting like major cramps she was like crunch up and like oh, my stomach was cramping up so that part sucked a little bit but once i stretched a little bit more then i was able to get through the workouts which was good so i'm about to go into target and just walk around and vibe i'm not buying nothing i just miss the feeling of shopping which is weird because i don't even like shopping like going through racks this little motion right here i hate it but just walking through stores window shopping that's my thing and i haven't done that in a minute so i'm about to do that you guys the weather here is so beautiful i love that they experience seasons and just seeing all the trees change color at first i'm like mm, this is fake because it just looks too cinematic let me show you guys why is this tree so orange can you see and on the other side you see orange yellow green red i guess this is what happens when you live in florida for too long because i did used to live in indiana fun fact but um i was really young and it was like only for a couple years wow seeing all these colors is like ah! also i just wanted to chat a little bit be real vulnerable and honest with you guys i had zero desire to film this video but i'm in a place where i really want to start taking my digital diary more seriously this morning i really had to like get that mentality straight because i'm like girl you wrote this idea down you've known for the whole month that you were gonna film a little morning routine so why all of a sudden do you wake up and you don't do it you know so yeah that's a part of me being more intentional and really living out better habits healthier habits and while we're having this little heart to heart <sighs> I am struggling to show up on social media because if we're going to be honest, things are not all peaches and cream. And when everyone says that people's social media pages are their highlight reels, that is so true, especially for me. I don't post every single highlight on my social media, but I definitely tend to be more reserved when it comes to my business. So with that being said... I'm trying to show up and still be positive on socials. The battle really be in your mind. And then when you go to sleep and you reflect over your day, you realize, oh, I had a great day. I had food to eat. I have people who love me and support me. So like, why were you struggling so hard? And really, it's just an internal battle. Mm. It's not fully internal. Let me say that. But yeah. Yeah. It's like everything can be on low. At some point, you gotta pour into yourself. So my faith is at an all-time high right now. Yeah, gotta go and get us through. Period. I'm all clean and fresh, ready to actually start my day. So I'm about to make some breakfast. I'm gonna make a breakfast sandwich with bagels. And in the meantime, I'm gonna eat some almonds because I am hungry.
Alright guys, so this is officially breakfast and I promised this was gonna be a sandwich but I was just so hungry so I had to eat the other half while I was still prepping it. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be breakfast for today. We're gonna wrap up the video here. That is all for my fall morning routine. Let me know down below any habits that you guys are gonna be implementing or have already started just so that I can stack onto mine as well. And if I could leave you guys with anything, it would be that not being in the mood or simply not feeling like doing something isn't a good enough reason to not do it. And this is very circumstantial advice, obviously. Like if it comes down to peer pressure and things like that, obviously if you don't want to, you don't have to. But when it comes down to your goals or even your hobbies, like things that you told yourself that you were gonna do, just cause you wake up and you're not in the mood is not a good enough reason to not do it. And I can say this cause I'm living it. And today I woke up, was not feeling it. I just filmed it and it didn't hurt me. It didn't drain my entire day. Like it's not that big of a deal. And my future self is gonna be proud of me. So that's my little bitty two cents for today. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing fall. It's about to be holiday season. So I hope you guys get to spend it with your loved ones. Bye my loves.